Welcome to the Citrans LR560 launch tutorial. To navigate this tutorial, use the menu on the left or the control buttons on the bottom of the screen. There are many ways to measure solids level applications, but radar technology is the most widely applicable and its usage has experienced the highest growth rates. Radar uses electromagnetic waves which do not require a carrier medium, making radar virtually unaffected by dust, vapor, pressure and temperature. With the two-wire LR560 installation cost is low. The device is literally plug-and-play featuring process intelligence echo processing, quick configuration and a variety of communication options and is virtually maintenance free. It is available in two versions the 40 meter 100 degree C and the 100 meter 200 degree C. The LR560 is also the first radar on the market to feature a lens antenna, which is highly effective in dusty environments. With 78 GHz, LR560 has a 4 degree beam angle. This means the LR560 can be installed virtually anywhere on the top of the silo or in locations where lower frequency radar devices, such as the LR460, require the use of antenna extensions. For example, a 25 GHz radar transmitter would need a large dish antenna to obtain a 4 degree beam. Level measurement of the cone area is not reliable with lower frequency radars and can also be a challenge for TDR devices depending on location. LR560's narrow beam can be easily directed towards a typically challenging area. See here the difference in the echo profile between the LR560 with a narrow beam angle and the LR460 with the wider beam angle. The LR560's noise level is much lower because the seams in the silo are not detected with the narrow beam. With the LR460, the true echo is provided but only after the auto false echo suppression feature was used. Even then, the readings were not perfectly stable. The LR560 produced this echo profile immediately after installation and graphical quick start wizard setup. No fine tuning was required. Practically all solids have an angle of repose, which causes the transmit signal to split into two returning paths, one direct and one indirect, leading to complicated signals and measurement drift. Picture dropping a beach ball, 10 gigahertz, on a set of stairs and how the beach ball will reflect away at an angle. However, a ping pong ball will bounce straight back most of the time. The LR560 at 78 gigahertz minimizes skip and behaves more like a ping pong ball resulting in excellent reflection properties even on highly sloped surfaces. Traditional radar transmitters for solids use a horn or parabolic dish antenna which is prone to dust buildup. If buildup occurs these devices may need to be retrofitted with a dust cover or air purge after installation resulting in additional purchasing and work. LR560's lens antenna is highly resistant to material buildup and the air purge is included at no extra charge. Most dry solids will not require any maintenance or cleaning. LR560's lens antenna is small at 68 millimeters or two and a half inches so it will fit on almost any tank opening or nozzle. An optional aiming flange helps position the LR560 at the correct angle to direct the beam towards an area of interest such as the lower area of the cone. Some customers prefer programming buttons. Some prefer infrared handheld programmers. Siemens provides both. LR560 comes with a quick start booklet inside the transmitter's lid and its graphical quick start wizard makes programming a breeze. It's possible to have the LR560 up and running in less than one minute. LR560 has a backlit rotatable display for easy viewing and commissioning in low light and from any position. The LR560 also supports five languages English, German, French, Spanish and Chinese. LR560 can be programmed many different ways including somatic PDM, Pactware, Emerson AMS, E&H Field Care or Hart handhelds like the 375 or 475. The electronic device descriptors are already available on the Internet for these tools. Three different communication protocols are available including HART, Profibus PA and Foundation Fieldbus provided as three separate electronic modules. 
LR560 is the first device ever to provide all three of these protocols at the time of launch. For LR560 with its narrow beam, fixed targets on the side of the silo are not seen and it would be rare to have to use the auto false echo suppression. In over 50 installations, only the simple quick start was used and no fine tuning of the TVT was required. The echo profile we saw earlier showed how the narrow beam of the LR560 made an easy task of selecting the true echo. However, if false echoes do creep into the profile, process intelligence will deal with them and reliable readings will continue. Process intelligence uses area, largest and first algorithms, auto false echo suppression and dynamic TVT threshold to maintain reliable readings. LR560 has experienced hundreds of tests to ensure it is ready for the extreme conditions in the field. The stainless steel enclosure is accepted by all markets and withstands brutal environments. With stainless steel enclosure, IP68 submersible encapsulated replaceable electronics cup, hazardous approvals, air purge, and optional sunshield, LR560 is ready for your challenges. LR560 is field proven measuring cement, hot mix asphalt, plastic pellets, talc, lime and plastic powder. In all of these applications LR560 was installed using the quick start wizard and was measuring material in minutes. Now let's look at some application scenarios and see how the LR560 and LR460 perform. Narrow shot with obstructions. If there is a tall nozzle the LR560 will generally perform well without any silo modifications due to its narrow beam angle. The LR460 with its wider beam angle may require some silo modifications. Range greater than 40 meters. LR560 performs well in ranges greater than 40 meters if the material has a high dielectric constant. LR460 has a slightly higher signal to noise ratio. So for very challenging materials where the signal may not be as strong, use the LR460. For example, for very low bulk density materials that have an extremely low dielectric constant, use the LR460. For small granules like sugar or sand, the short wavelength of the LR560 will yield a good reflection. The longer wavelength of the LR460 will be prone to signal skipping. For a material with low decay and low density such as dry wood dust, the LR460 will perform. For a simple basic installation, consider Siemens C-Trans RD200 remote indicator which can supply the 24 volt DC power to the LR560 and provide a reading where you need it. For more advanced applications where internet access or alarming to your mobile phone is required, consider Siemens C-Trans RD500. It's always recommended to have a backup with a continuous level transmitter. For a backup point level switch, consider Siemens C-Trans LPS200. C-Trans LR560 is the first 78 GHz radar transmitter on the market and its narrow beam, short wavelength and lens antenna provide exceptional plug and play performance. With process intelligence echo processing, communication and configuration options, C-Trans LR560 is the easiest, most reliable radar level transmitter in the world.